cheer. Ready? Yeah. Yay! Bears, Bob. 
Coast. There are <coughs> plenty of bourbons in the area, and the sheriff just wanted us to be on the watch for him. Is that all? Yes, of course. Why? What did you think? Oh, never mind. I hope that vermin does come to this town. Then folks will see that our lady sheriff is neither a lady nor a sheriff. <laughs> Yes, the uh, rooms are through there, and we have a very nice 
nice restaurant and bar from there if you'd like to refresh yourselves. We saw that on our way to town. Didn't we? Snap. Yes, there's also an outside entrance. Well, I'll just go get this stuff put away. Uh, the actress. Do you suppose we'll get the chance to meet her? I don't think we will be able to avoid it. She, uh, you should come down by now. Golly, a real live actress. Very exuberant young man, your friend. Oh, that pansy. Heck, I just met up with him since my last job. Let him ride along with me so he wouldn't get lost. And what is your job, Mr. Smith? Who? Oh, <laughs> me. Ah. Yeah, you see, I, uh, <laughs> um... Oh, uh, I see. You are a firearms expert. Ah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> when it comes to a six-gun, I know just about all there is to know. Now, how much was that bill again? That'd be two dollars a day. Here, I'll get the change when I check out. Look at me a receipt for that. A gold coin, just like those that were taken in the railroad holdup. This confirms my suspicions. That man is the deadly desperado, Snipe Berman. Case 
relatives or nothing. Well, I didn't have one kin. A brother. Twin brother at that. Real handsome fellow. Well, just like me. <laughs> yeah, but he was adopted. Went off with some foreign folks from England or somewhere. Well, what do I care? I'm gonna go have that drink. You coming, Filbert? Well, uh, I'd rather stay here and talk to Miss Muldoon, if you don't mind. Nah, I just as soon drink alone, anyhow. We've got some thinking to do. Well, if you're busy or something, Miss Muldoon, I can just. Oh, no. I'm never too busy for my public. After all, where would we be if it were not for you?
Why, sure, those horses are mine. Hmm. And you rode in on both of them. Both horses? <laughs> oh. Why, sure, uh, I like to ride double. Do it all the time. Uh, it's much faster that way. <laughs> well, you don't appear to fit the description of the culprit I'm looking for, so I just have to look around a bit more.
can I ever repay you for your kindness? Oh, I'll find a way. <laughs> yes, but I will find a way. <laughs> Now I can put my plan into 
sure that he stays there. And it will be most helpful for a little party I'm planning. A costume party. And now, for the guest of honor, our friend Snipe Berman. Oh, Mr. Berman, come in here for a moment, please. What?
yourself, uh, I mean, you should stay here in case he comes back. Good idea. Yeah. Harry? Yeah? Watch yourself now. I will. Well, what do you know? A lady sheriff, and she's a looker, she is. <laughs> Really find what I want to do is 
to go out looking and hope I find it. Or hope it finds me. Well, you do make the guitar sound pretty good. Thanks. Pardon me, gentlemen. Yes? Are there any ladies about? No, but... <laughs> Excuse my appearance. I appear to have been divested of my wardrobe. <laughs> I could just see anyone stealing anything from you. I'm sorry, but I don't quite understand. You can talk as pretty as you please. It's not going to change my mind one bit. Really, I'm afraid I haven't had the pleasure. I bet you've had nearly every pleasure there is. Ooh, there must be some sort of misunderstanding. Have we met before? Really? It's not Berman. Who do you think rode into town with you? Are you referring to me as Snipe Berman? Well, that's the name you went by last time I saw you. So that's who I am. You mean you don't know? No. You see, just a few short hours ago, I sustained a slight head injury, which apparently caused an impairment of my memory. I've been resting in a room down the hall ever since. And I bet you, I bet the next thing you're going to say is that you were in bed when the bank was robbed. So that's where all the gunfire was originating. You mean you didn't have anything to do with it? Really? I'm hardly dressed for socializing, much less bank robbery. This name, Snipe Berman, it does have a familiar ring to it, but is it really me? Oh, well, it's either you or your twin brother. <laughs> there is one way to clarify the situation. The lady who assisted me to my room removed some papers of identification from my pockets for safekeeping. I believe she put them in your hotel vault. That must have been the Widow Black. Well, if it had anything to do with the widow, you have a right to be suspicious. Maybe we better have a look at those papers. <laughs> it must be in this drawer. It seems to be stuck. Here, let me give you a hand. No, it's okay. I've got it.
And last, the group I've been searching for all these months. This is the paper that makes me the sole heir to my father's estate. I must hurry to Judge Whittle to make legal arrangements for my claim.
It's not for me. I was looking for Mr. Oh, and you got him. Like I was about to say, I was looking for Mr. Hartstone's clothes. Oh, uh, Those are his, aren't they? Uh, yes, I, I was just taking them out to be cleaned. <laughs> Gee, that's awful thoughtful of you. But I think you'd rather have them back now. Oh. Those red long johns of his are mighty embarrassing. <laughs> Especially with that lady sheriff in the room. Oh, uh, the sheriff? Yeah. She seemed to get this silly idea that he was the one who robbed the bank. Well, it's good to know that the sheriff is on the job. Uh, he is under arrest, isn't he? Well, I don't rightly know. He seemed kind of out of his head for a bit there. Oh, some sort of trick, I'm sure. No, I don't think so. The sheriff hit him over the head with her pistol in it, and it seemed to knock the sense right back where it was before. He's still pretty groggy, but these clothes ought to cheer him up a whole bunch. Bill, gather up your stuff. We're getting out of here. What do you mean, Scott? I mean, we're leaving. I'm sick of this pig town. Well, Scott, I... Wait a second. Where'd you get that back? Oh, uh, it's nothing. It's from the bank, isn't it? You're the one who robbed the bank. Look, you knew what I did before you joined up with me, so get your stuff and let's get out of here. No, I don't want to have anything to do with you no more. Like oh, that. Wait, wait. The sheriff is in Hearthstone's room. She'll hear you. Ah, you mean that pretty little lady, Sheriff? Willie really Loveless, please? Of course I need her. No, that gal was rather fond of me last time I saw her. <laughs> well, certainly. You were impersonating your brother, if you recall. It was pathetic to hear our tough little lady sheriff make me sound like a real woman. <laughs> well, I ain't riding out of here alone. I'm going to get me some company. Insult won't hurt you none, but this gun could kill your dad. That is a good point. 
for fun, you know? <gasps> Say it! You do play the guitar as good as Charlie? Even better. Now, how do you think of it? Charlie didn't really play so good. No, he was just awful cute. See, Colonel, I just got the most wonderful idea. Uh, let me surmise that you'd like us to hire that young man there for all musicians. Oh, that's a good idea, too! It certainly is. <laughs> Reasons for going out with Snipe Berman. So just get out of here. 
instead of me. What am I to do? Which way can I turn?
your job. It's my feeling that one lawman in the family is sufficient. I don't think so. So you won't? Won't what? Marry me, of course. <laughs> 